Well, it's a pretty gloomy afternoon here in Greenville, South Carolina, and I guess you could say the weather kind of sums up how the Mercer Bears are feeling this afternoon. The Mercer baseball program losing in their third game of this Southern Conference tournament late last night to UNC Greensboro, 9-5. Not even a Ty Daly Grand Slam could get the job done for the Bears last night. And that's where we begin our first lesson from this Southern Conference Tournament and really the season as a whole for the Bears. The Bats can't do it alone. In game one here Friday night, Mercer put up 14 runs on 21 hits against Wofford and still lost. Despite leading the conference with 111 home runs this year, it's also the Bears with the worst team ERA in the SOCON, sitting at 7-3-5. Friday night being the 17th time they've given up more than nine runs this year. Lesson number two, be Georgia's college baseball team. Mercer has taken pride for years now in reaching that 35 win mark year after year as one of the premier baseball programs in the Peach State. This year though, just a three and five record against those teams in the state of Georgia and two wins shy of a 13th consecutive 35 win season. Certainly a disappointment for a very successful program. Expect Mercer to get right back on track in 2024. And lesson number three, boy is the future bright. Speaking of 2024, preseason SOCON freshman of the year Ty Daly has lived up to the hype. Capped it all off with last night's grand slam. Sophomore and former Houston County Bear Trayson Hughes, he was just on a heater to end the year, riding a 20 game hit streak and hitting 387 for the year. Couple that with the pop from sophomore Jackson Cherry and even a guy like Georgia Tech transfer Bradley Fry, who really came alive down the stretch. And this same team should come right back again next year to this same ballpark to compete for the SOCON title. So certainly not the finish the Mercer Bears would have hoped for, but now you look ahead to 2024 where the expectations will be just as high and the future, well, it's just as bright. For now in Greenville, Connor Hines, 13 WMAC Sports.